Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I made a video here a little while back about um, pinning the gas block on the AR-15 because there's always the big conversation out there about it. And uh, I think ASC Blue Eyes started talking about which one. What do you guys think about it? And we all kind of conversated back. And, and then a little after that, <coughs> I went and bought the BRD Engineering pin and jig, which is for your Veltor gas blocks. You slide it on there. It's got a set screw in the bottom. You get it where you're supposed to have it. I put mine in a, a drill press at a machine shop. Uh, run the hole through there. I can't remember which bit it was. I want to say a number 31 bit or something like that. Uh, but uh, you can look it up and it'll tell you. It might even tell you on my other video. But anyways, that right there is the jig for the to drill it but the thing is is once you drill it <coughs> then you have to taper the hole and the hole and I don't know how to say this so the measurement's gonna be right but it is a number two slash zero uh, taper and uh, what it is I got mine from Midway USA and uh, that's what it looks like this end is small and it gets fatter as it goes which is like uh, let me see if I can Find my other right here's one. <coughs> right here are the taper pins you can buy. As you can see, they're a two slash zero or two point oh, whatever they call that taper, which is small here and it tapers to the fat end, just like a regular sight based pin would. Well, <coughs> excuse me. What you do is after you do put your jig on there and you drill it, and, it, and once you put the jig on there right, it drills this absolutely uh, dead center between the two set screws on there and you want to have those good and loctited and been on there and let them dry and everything you don't want to just put them in there and loctite them and let them set because that gas block can shift one thing that I have figured out was that I had them in there and uh, before I had when I first ran the drill bit through there I wanted to see how the pin would fit without the taper to see what the difference was and I just barely done a little pecking and moved my gas block slightly uh, and I had to straighten it back up. But anyway, um, I straightened it back up and everything and also, also something else on these gas blocks, if you'll notice, some of these set screws, I don't know if you guys can see it, these set screws like that one's a factory one, they're crap, you know, you can strip them out very easy, the heads of them. This one here is a more heavier duty one. I put it in there because I messed one up and had to take it out. Uh, it stripped the thread, not the threads, but stripped the head out of it. Uh, so I put one of those in there and I'm going to replace that one with one of these two. I have one. I just haven't done it yet. But that's not what this is about. Anyway, i done the tapering with the taper bit and uh, I used a DeWalt drill because if you, you watch these videos and these guys take these hand tools and they put it on there and they're sitting there doing that, I think I'm going to call bullshit on that. These are cold hammer forged barrels. And these gas blocks are hard and everything else, they're tough. And I started out with the hand tool, and you see these videos where the guys, oh, they tweak it a couple times, oh, that's getting close, tweak it a couple times, well, I'm gonna call bullshit. Either I don't know what I'm doing, which is very well possible, but it took me quite a while with the drill, just easing it, easing it, trying to get it to the right depth, because you don't just barely start it out, you wanna get the, the pins gotta seat quite a bit down in there, so that whenever you do hammer it in, that you get an even, which as you can see, it's even on both sides there. It's quite, uh, it's in there. I think it's in there perfect. I'm really proud of the way it come out. I'm really excited about it. And uh, <coughs> so uh, if any of you guys are like that, this one, it says with Dremel work will fit other gas blocks. I think it will fit a few others without it. Uh, I'm sure you can call a company and they probably make you one to fit whatever gas block. But this was quite easy, uh, as long as you had the tools to do it. Once you've drilled it out, when you put the reamer down in it, the reamer kind of holds itself straight. All you got to do is just put in there and put the pressure and be careful and uh, taper. And uh, let me tell you what, Midway USA, these guys are great. Um, I had sent a credit card number that I always use through their site. And for some reason, when this went on back order, you have to have the credit card there to keep on there. Well, something happened with my credit card company. It screwed some stuff up, which is straightened out now, but not the point. Instead of them canceling and putting that on the shelves after I'd been waiting on back order, they sent me an email and gave me the opportunity 
to either straighten my credit card out or give them another one, which I just give them another one because I wanted it to come straight on through. And they sent it through in no time flat. So um, Larry Potterfield and you guys out at Midway USA, big fans of yours. But anyways, real back to shorten this up a little bit. Uh, that's it. Bravo Company, 14 and a half inch cold hammer forged barrel. Uh, I've got another barrel that has the sight base shaved down. And I had uh, bought this one and with the set screws and then I bought the tools and I pinned it which if you look at a lot of Bravo companies uh, bills that come out of their shop with the low pro gas block I see a lot of guys saying well all theirs come out with just set screws now I don't know if you have to request request it with the pin in it but I know their uh, their mark 12 the one they use for like the precision rifle I know that uh, if you get the low pro gas block on it I know it comes pinned and I've seen some others that come pinned. So if you get it with the rail and everything already on it and they done all of it, I think it comes pinned. But this is this is what they do. They put the single pin through the bottom and it's the uh, same type of pin and everything because they used to use the Veltor gas blocks. Now they're using their own. But uh, that is it. Uh, I've done that myself. It is, all, it is set screwed and pinned now. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take both my set screws out of the bottom and clean them up a little bit. I'm gonna put a little more Loctite on them and put them back in there to stay on there permanent and uh, go shoot it and see how she does. But uh, in case you guys are interested one more time, uh, BRD Engineering Veltor sight, or, uh, gas block jig for pinning. You can do it with a hand drill if you want because it's got the guide on it. And then Midway USA, the two dash, two slash zero uh, taper reamer that you gotta have uh, just make sure you do it from the right side like say your pin goes in from this side and it comes out from the other side so just make sure you do that right but other than that there you go give you guys one more quick look I think it looks just fine you know I got a few little scuff marks there that I need to clean up but it's a gas block and it's hid you know who really gives a rat you know what about that but let me, let me know what you guys think about this, and if you guys think you'd be interested in these tools or something, or if you like that. Uh, I kind of like mine being pinned. I, I really prefer my stuff to be as mil-spec and the, uh, as reliable as possible. And those set screws, they will. They can come loose. I've never had that happen to me shooting one, but as I was working on one, I've had it move, and this barrel is dimpled. So that tells you anything. But uh, there you go, guys. Let me know what you think. Thanks.